Hey there, that here, and welcome to Pokemon Uranium version. I cut that, I'm not gonna lie, I cut that a little bit short because that kid was running forever on that field. I'm pretty sure he was trying to win a marathon. It, he just would not stop. He would not stop running. He just kept going forever and ever. Anyway, this is, of course, an unofficial Pokemon version. Uh, you may have heard of it, you may not have, but you won't be able to get it anymore, so I'm sorry. Either way, I found it, and I'm going to play it, and see how it stands up to official Pokemon games, because why not? I'm not actually going to do any official comparison of which one stands up better, because honestly, I don't care as long as this one's also fun, which I believe it will be. It was a weird sound. I did play it a little bit just to test it out. I'm probably going to be using that exact same character, but I'm going to start a new game. I'm going to do this right. You, know, it's you and me. You and me together, guys. We're going to do this the right way. Also, you put no above yes. That doesn't... That, that bothers me a little bit. Yes. I, no! Oh! Oh! Oh, that ki that this, this kills the rabbit. All right. Let's try this for reals. <laughs> uh, video games. Choose your game mode. Cool, they have a difference between regular and Nuzlocke mode. I know a lot of people like Nuzlocke, people who like to challenge themselves extra hard on Pokemon games. Not really into it myself, it just seems strange to limit myself farther than how the game already limits me for the sake of a self-challenge. Plus, I find Pokemon plenty fun enough without that added layer of challenge added onto it. But the fact that they have a built-in mode for Nuzlocke is pretty cool, I will admit. Maybe I'll visit it sometime just to see what it would be like if those challenges were actually imposed on me by the game. But that's not here nor there. Here is where we're going to play Pokemon Uranium. So join me, fellas. Here we go. Do you want to play? Yes. Huh? Who is it? Uh, oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Hi. My nice shirt. My name is Bambo. Uh, but if you don't find that too hard to pronounce, you could just call me the Pokemon Professor. You're the one who's applying for the job, right, kid? Great! Want to lowdown on what you'll be doing? Uh, I guess. I've, I, I would imagine that if I was going to have a job with your company, I would want to know what I'm doing. So, yes, tell me about the adventure. I'll have you journey across the region, collecting specimens for my research. Along the way, you're sure to encounter all kinds of people. Some will be willing to cooperate and some not, but you should try and be friendly with everybody. Now, we don't want a bad reputation, right? People will ask you for your help solving mysteries or lending them a hand when they're down. And it won't be easy. There are dangers everywhere. Whether it be wild creatures or people with ill intent, you'll need to be on your guard. But keep a clear head on your shoulders, kid, and I'm sure you'll pull through just fine. Want to low down on what else you'll be doing? No, I'm 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 fine with the controls. I already already I'm already on top of that. But thank you. So what's up, Professor? Oh, what is that? Is that a red-eyed cat with wings? Oh, that's awesome. We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. Uh, more than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets. Others help us with work, and still others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. Uh, thank you, I already knew all of that, but th yeah, that's pretty cool. But there's so much we still don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elephant elements. Or elephants, right? N no. Uh, every Pokemon has an elemental type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. Uh, but why do they exist? Are there new types that we haven't discovered yet? Ah, uh, but I'll tell you more about that on your first day on the job. I'll report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. Uh, and now if you'll just fill out this form here. Like, I, I, you gonna make me do paperwork? Really? I'm like, five minutes of the game, you gonna make me do paperwork? Who am I? Kinda neat that there are three options here. You know, male, female, not entirely sure, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, not, not, not really sure. Anyway... We'll go with the guy here. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. But know your name. Please tell me. Oh, look at that. The magic of the PC. Keyboard. Awesome. Your name is Thet? Yeah, my name is Thet. Thet, are you ready? Your journey, your story, is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. You, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. 
There will be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make some exciting discoveries. Let's go! Alright, let's go. Ten years ago. That's family lived in Beale Beach City. Hey, where's the thing where I go from, like, a sprite of a kid down to, like, the, the actual little spread of gameplay, man? I'm... I can you call yourself a Pokemon game without that? Uh, we apparently lived in the largest city in Tandor. My family and I, that is. Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. Awesome scouter, by the way. Let me guess, our mother. Their mother, Lucille, their mother. But I have a sibling? I have a twin? I have a cousin? They adopt that we adopted? What, what what's what's the there? What what why is there there? There's a there there. Why would they put it there there if there wasn't there to be there? You know? Anyway, Lucille was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. Pretty great. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with young Thet. The Tandor region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright, so bright, until the shades came off. Pokemon Uranium, uh, new energy, nuclear, it was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. Okay, so obviously it can't be nuclear if they're working at a nuclear power plant, because if they're working at a nuclear plant, then they already have nuclear energy. So it could be like, maybe they're at a fission plant and it's fusion that she's working on? I don't know. As part of routine inspection, they thought they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Well, that does make sense. That does seem very routine. Almost boring. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. If everybody's finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are fi far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer or the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. It can't be the thermometer. I, I just checked that. So, uh... <laughs> oh, that's not good. There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate now. Oh no! Everyone, get the heck out! Oh no! I'm, how am I watching this from ten years ago? Uh, Lucille, you have to leave too. Dot dot dot. That's not leaving, Lucille. And he's out of there. You coward! With Cameron's help, all the scientists were able to escape unscathed, except Lucille. She was never seen after that day. Well, of course. Radiation leaking from the broken reactor made surra the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, foiling any attempt to try and search for her. That sounds pretty terrible. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen, which I imagine it would. His personality changed, she became cold and dedicated to his job. That was his way of dealing with grief, I'm sure. In time, he got promoted to chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So young Thet was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Moki Town. And that's, I guess I'm in Holy Moki then. Ten years passed. Absolutely nothing eventful happened in those last ten years. Nothing at all. Just boring old life. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Unfortunately, or fortunately, not unfortunately, fortunately, Ernest Bombo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Is it Bombo or Bambo? I'm not sure. Or Bambo. Is it Bambo? I, I have no idea. Two kids from Moki Town applied, Thet and their childhood friend Theo. You keep using that plural pronoun, and I'm wondering why. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so Thet's journey began. Okay, so, one thing I want to point out here, that's a lot of backstory to, like, throw at us at the beginning, and it's not necessarily good. I mean, the, the, the backstory is built okay, and all that, all that stuff, it's not like a bad story or anything, but, you know, there's the added show, don't tell, and you're telling me a lot, instead of showing me through the gameplay elements. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. Anyway. Thet, come downstairs. You are late. Oh, no. Auntie, I don't want to be late. 
Ooh, it's a Nintendo Wii U, but I hear they're coming out with a new system soon. Yes, the Nintendo Index. Good. That's... I don't know, man. Why did they keep naming it stuff like that? Whoa! One of the Pokemon just Mega Evolved. I've never seen that before. It's time to go. Why am I just sitting on the post of my bed? Seems kind of weird. Me and my Alton. Dribolta's Big Adventure. I don't know any of these Pokemon. Quest for the Legends. I've read all of these many times. That's why I don't remember any of these Pokemon by their names. Is there a potion in the computer? If it's not, then it's worst game. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, that's all I wanted. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy with this game now. Cool. We got our potion. Map of West Tandor. West Tandor? Oh my god, this region's gigantic, isn't it? Isn't it East Tandor? At least that's what's implied. Oh, this place is huge. This is gonna be nice. Eat china plates. What is this? A framed embroidery. Home is where the heart is. And there's a heart underneath it. Wow, it's like my auntie is very old. That's sweetie. Today's your big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel glum seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Remember, I'm not your son. Technically. Let that make you feel better. Because you raised me doesn't mean I'm... I, I'm just really not setting myself up as a good person here, am I? Oh, if only these bones could do more so I could support us both. But that's... You let me do this. I got this, Granny. Gra Auntie. Auntie, not Granny. I'm... Don't make you look really old, I'm sorry. But we both know that you're ready for this. You and that boy, Theo. Always following in your footsteps, that one. It's because our names are only one letter apart, isn't it? Makes him jealous. You've always been so capable, but I wonder about him. He's probably terrible, not, a, not nearly as much as me. He is younger, after all. Oh, God, a young prodigy. I'm going to deal with this. I'm sure his father, Cameron, wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead and open it. All right. Yeah. Shoes. Oh, just what every boy wants on Christmas. Instructions read to run. Hold Z. You can also toggle auto run. Sniffle. Oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now. Uh, I'm sure he'd be proud of you, too. And I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. Now, I wouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will you? And if you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. I'll think about it. Good luck, sweetie. All right. All right, Auntie, I'm going to take some food. Yeah, you don't mind if I help myself to a snack. Drink a coffee. It's cold. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. All right, anything else in here? She sleeps down. She doesn't even sleep in a separate room. Oh, my gosh. A Auntie, I'm so sorry. I am... You've made such a sacrifice. This is terrible. It's awful. Why would you do that? I legit feel bad. Oh my goodness, it's nighttime. Uh, is that because it's nighttime? Is that because it's actually nighttime in the real world? Does this game reflect the real lives? I thought you're leaving home right here. To have this, it'll help you on your journey. Don't eat it yourself. Thank you for the rare candy. Cool. Um, I appreciate it. Rare candies make Pokemon level up. I'm not sure what they do to people, but you better not try to find out. Actually, I'm slightly curious now that you've mentioned it, but I guess I won't do anything about it. Let's go invade some people's privacy. Howdy. What the heck is that? It's like a chipmunk. Chin Chin. Is that what it's called? A Chin Chin? My husband's long been an admirer of your father, you know. So you're finally heading out on an adventure, eh? You take up the old man that way. Cool. That's good to know. I don't know how. Well, I guess he is a ranger, isn't he? Is there anything? Is there anything in here that I can take for myself? No, it doesn't look like it. So I'm out of here. You have nothing for me, and therefore you're not wanted. You're going to be the big breadwinner now, Ted. Should I should pop by? This is your auntie now again. Ho ho ho. You. I'm gonna be keeping a close eye on that that old guy. Yeah, no, I'm not sure I like him very much. I'm so jealous you get to have your own Pokemon, my mom says. I gotta wait till I'm older. Your mom is probably right. Probably. Children grow up so fast. Not long ago, I seemed like I was one myself. Be sure to have fun on your journey. I'll try. I won't have too much fun, though. After all, hey! Hello, Thet. Today's the day you and Theo receive your first Pokemon, isn't it? Theo certainly was excited. I imagine you must be, too. I remember that day. All those years ago. Yes, I was a Pokemon trainer just like you once. I'm retired now, of course, but I still remember what it was like. It was an auspicious day indeed. 
Hey, if you're looking for Theo, I'm afraid he's not here. He's already gone ahead to the Pokemon lab in the north town. He's uh, not very patient, so you should probably hurry along and join him. All right, all right, jeez. I'm not even going to bother looking through his stuff. Probably all run down and like junk. Route 3! Can't go to Route 3. Pokemon have to smash this rock first. That'd be a waste of time, wouldn't it? Because I'm not going to smash through it. Anyway, let's go find the uh, Pokemon professor. Look at my little shimmy, man. I got a, I got a fun little run. Most of the Pokemon species found in Tandor are native to this region. But there are still some uh, that can be found in other regions, too, like Mankey and Dunsparce. Who's excited about a Dunsparce? Why would you ever why would you ever mention Dunsparce? Like, is there a more useless Pokemon? Hey, wait up. Oh gosh, it's oh, it's you're you're Theo, aren't you? Where do you think you're going, huh? You trying to get to the lab before me so you can get better Pokemon? That ain't gonna happen. Cause I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up that. I don't like him. I don't like him. He seems like a jerk. I can't wait to pick the better Pokemon. I'll give you such a whooping. Hey, I was going to talk to the aide. Oh, whatever. Hey, if it isn't that, and uh, your friend, uh, Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, you came, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo! Theo! Right, right. Theo, you're just in time. Uh, today's a very special day for both of you. It's your first day of work as a field research assistant at Bumbo's Pokemon Research Labs. Uh, your job will have you traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that'll aid you on your journey. Before you get your starters, though, you bo both will take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. What? Test? I didn't study for any test! I didn't either. I thought you were going to give us a rare, powerful Pokemon! <laughs> nah, nah, don't worry. It's not the type of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you'll be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. A starter Pokemon will be a lifelong partner, so it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, 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 I get it. And enough talking, I want to get to my Pokemon! Sheesh, kid, you're not very patient, are you? Alright, if you want to know more about what's on the test before we begin, you can talk to my aide. Now, Fed, are you ready to take the po trainer aptitude test? Wait a minute, I'm going to talk to your aide. It's alright, take your time. Yeah, but not too long, alright? Oh, shush, Theo. Such an annoying little... The music in this is actually not bad at all. Pokemon trainer aptitude test. The sorts trainers into three basic types. Defensive, offensive, and balanced. The professor will then give you a starter Pokemon that best fits your battling style. The defensive trainers receive the grass Pokemon, Orshnix. It's gentle, hardy, and easy to raise. Offensive trainers receive the fire Pokemon, Raptorch. It's strong and speedy, but can be hard to control. The balanced trainers receive the water Pokemon, Electux. Its calm, collected nature allows it to adapt to any situation. Now, choose carefully, your starter is your main poke partner on your journey. Thank you, Mr. Aid. I really appreciate that. Go ahead and get ready for the test. Come on, Fed, let's go already. The suspense is killing me? What, what, why did you ask that as a question? Are you not sure if the suspense is killing you or not? I, I, whatever. Fed, are you ready to take the aptitude, tr the trainer aptitude test even? Yes, I am ready. Excellent. So without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? Well... Instead of, so I, I'm assuming that the answers correspond to, you know, offensive, defensive, and balanced. So, but what would I do? I mean, technically in the game, your only real choice is to basically attack it. Uh, although, you can wait and see what it does. And that's not a good idea, depending on what Pokemon. That would be a terrible thing to do against the Navra. But then again, if you just saw it for the first time, I guess you would want to find out what it can do. So yeah, wait and see what it does. Very good, both of you. Come on, that was easy. Give me, a, give me a tougher one. Okay, next question then. Uh, which of these TMs would you prefer to teach to your Pokemon? Hyper Beam, Protector, Hidden Power. Actually, Hidden Power is kind of a hit or miss unless you already know um, exactly what it's going to do. Hyper Beam is strong, but it takes two turns. And actually, technically, it's pretty much directly countered by Protect. So, and Protect is like one of the best moves for doubles battles because then you can have your Pokemon equipped with all kinds of awesome two Pokemon hitting attacks and all that. Protect is just way too useful, utility-wise, I think. Hey, Professor, what's a TM anyway? 
No, I'll tell you later. Let's move on with the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokemon would win in an all-out battle? Gyarados, Glizcor, or Ampharos? Okay, so Gyarados is water and flying, which means he's four times weak against Ampharos. Ampharos would defeat him in one hit, easily. Glizcor is very fast, he's ground and flying. Hmm. He would have a hard time against Gyarados. But he would be immune to Ampharos. Glizcor's fast though, right? If I remember correctly, and I might not, I could be completely wrong, isn't Glizcor generally faster than Gyarados? So Glizcor would have the advantage, because he would be able to, because Gyarados has a lot of attack power, but his defense is pretty good, but Glizcor can learn thunder attacks. So, I think Glizcor has the advantage either way. Because he's going to wreck Ampharos, that's no doubt. And Ampharos would wreck Gyarados. But Gyarados wouldn't necessarily wreck Gliscor. So based on that, I guess I'd have to give it to Gliscor. I think. Is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Now, this is your final question. So answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? Well, becoming the very best, of course. I want to be the very best. Like no one ever was. No question about it, I'm going to be a Pokemon Master. So did you answer very best as well? And nobody's going to stand in my way. <laughs> I dig his spirit, kid. That's it for the Trainer Aptitude Test. Now, it's time to analyze your results. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, I finished my analysis. Yes, you looked at your paper for like three seconds. Good job. What do you got on me? You, you going to say something? Fat! You seem to be a trainer who likes to play it safe. Patience and endurance are your biggest assets. You know what? that the best things in life come to those who wait. For a defensive trainer like you, oh, I'm getting the cat. Orchnix is the best pick. Look at that. It's a cat. It's a grass cat. I actually like it. I actually think it's kind of cool. Go ahead and take it, Fett. All right. I, I, oh, I actually have to go and take it. Come on, Fett, let's go already. The suspense is killing me? Just, whatever. Go ahead and take it, Fett. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take the Orchnix. Give a nick yeah, I always nickname my Pokemon. Little boy cat. Could name it after my cat. Actually, I have a lot of cats I could name it after. Because <laughs> I've owned a lot of cats. Uh... Oh, man. I don't know enough about the Pokemon itself to give it a name that would fit with it. It's, I only know it's a cat. And it's a grass cat. Oh, man. Okay. There we go. Cat sword. Cat sword it is. That took me way longer than it should have. But I thought, hey, I'm tired of waiting. Well, I had to name my cat. Thank you very much. That got their starter already. When do I get mine? I'm done analyzing your results, Theo. Hmm. You get the one that... That Pokemon is going to be weak against. Because of course you are. Because, you know, he's played a Pokemon game before. Theo. Well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, and care mostly about your own desires. But I sense something else in you. Could it be the seed of greatness? The potential to transform yourself completely? Or maybe it's just that you're so young, I can't tell. That, actually, that's probably it. Regardless, for a trainer like you, Elatux is the best pick. That's kind of a, kind of an interesting looking Pokemon. Can't, I can't tell what it's supposed to, what the shape, general shape is supposed to be. Yes, my first Pokemon. Good for you. How you doing? That, you have a Pokemon, and now I have a Pokemon too. You know what this means, right? We have a battle. Oh, please, no, please, not in the lab. Yeah, we're gonna have a battle. Oh man. Bring out the black lightning, cause we're fighting. You look like you uh, you look like you have a pitchot on your head. Rival Theo would like to battle. Oh my goodness, he sent out the Leptux. Who would have thought? Go Catswort. <laughs> Even meows. Oh, that is beautiful. What can you do, my friend? I love it. I love the cry. 
you have Scratch and Growl and Battle Armor. Protect against critical hits. That's pretty cool. Huh. Alright. Let's see what we can do with you. Alright, Cat Swart. Be amazing. Give him that Scratch. Yeah! A little bit of damage. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's not very effective. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not very effective? Grass and steel? That cat is grass and steel? What kind of weird, funky ty typing is that? That is... I like it. Come on, buddy. You think, you, you think you're gonna beat me up? Oh, you don't know. You don't know what Cat Swartz has in mind for you. And it ain't pretty. All right, Cat Swartz, give him the business. Oh, whoa, why do you get to start with water gun? That's a bunch of bull monkey. I don't have no water gun. I just have the scratch and growl combo. St oh, you gotta be kidding me. One of the starters has static? That's such a good ability. I mean, don't get me wrong. Battle armor is not, like, terrible, but oh my god, static's so good. I want static. Also, that water gun doesn't really... I'm not sure. It looks like water. Either way, got you! Out of my house! Here! Or the, the lab, I mean. Either way, we won. What? But, but I was supposed to win! Yeah, you weren't supposed to. Because you had the better typing, but who cares? But, but how? I, I'm supposed to be the best the best trainer ever! It's, it's impossible! Good trainers never they never lose! I, 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 yeah! Please don't cry, Theo! I broke him. Here, I'll heal your Pokemon for you. Heal mine too? Yes, you will. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I wanted to be, wanted to be um, a beautiful trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really, really wanted to win. Well, between your starters and that's, theirs has the type advantage. Oh, that's... Yeah, actually, you're right. Mine does have... Wait. Yeah, you're right. That's weird. That's weird. Usually they give... I am... But they, that doesn't even matter! I mean, the steel was an advantage. That technically because of the moves they get. He had some weird moves. I don't know. I, I have to throw everything that I know when it comes to how the game is supposed to progress out the window. The mechanics are the same, but the progression's different, obviously. Anyway, anyway <clears throat> one of them at any rate. Learning the master of type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. No way! I want a do-over! How come that gets the better starter? It's not fair! I'm going home! Yeah, you go home. <sighs> he took that harder than I hoped. Well, you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He is just a kid, after all. I expect he'll soon discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. Yeah, probably not. I'm going out to the entrance of the Route 1 by the edge of town. Bring Theo, and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later, Thet. Alright, see you later, Professor. That's your last Pokemon, huh? I can't even look at it. Aw. Yeah, yeah, I usually... They usually give the rival the weaker Pokemon, or the stronger Pokemon. I don't know how... I Yeah, I think that's the only reason I didn't really notice it in battle, because I assumed I was going to have the type disadvantage. So, let's take a look here. Um... Are the number... Oh, it says at the top. Stats, IVs, and EVs. So my Pokemon is going to have terrible defense. Okay, special attack. Ah. Uh, special defense is going to be great. Speed's going to be great. Alright. Well, I don't really care too much about that. I just like to acknowledge the fact that I know it exists. Because, honestly, you train Pokemon, you train them because you love them. Not for any other reason. You training for something else? You're you're not you're not doing it right, man. You're not doing it right. I said it. Come at me. Come at me, you you Eevee and IV trainers. Not that kind of Eevee. Anyway, here, I'll take a look at my Pokemon. Oh, honey, you came back to say goodbye. How sweet. Is that your Pokemon? What you called? Or snicks. It's so cute. Come back when you need a rest. Or if you just want to humor your old aunt. Alright, I'll come back when I need something. I'll come back when I need some humor. Anyway, that is going to do it for this first episode of Pokemon Uranium. Man, we got our first Pokemon, and we saw two brand new ones that we've never seen before. Looking at the bottom, it's so... I, I just want to look it up again. I just love its cry. That is adorable, man. Anyway, guys, 
you're enjoying this, go ahead and leave it a like and let me know in the comments below. We're going to be having some Pokemon Uranium at least every Friday, maybe more often if I can get to it, get around to it. But that's going to be it for today. So, I'm the Thut Man. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.